Oh, hello, hello, everybody, and welcome to my channel. This is Carmen with Elemental Designs. How are we all today? Let me just go over here and open this up on my YouTube so I can see it over there. It's a little bit better. <laughs> and you guys are seeing my little cheat sheet. Oh, no, I messed up. I should have flipped that over. <laughs> Hold on. Give me a second. I'm getting myself together. I was editing the video because I decided to also do um, while I craft the 10 crafty questions. Now, I was tagged by Dorinda, who is Creative Moments with Dorinda. I'm gonna, I left the link to everybody's channel down below that I'm going to be mentioning today. So feel free to open that up. <laughs> you will see all the details and information there. So I'm going to hold this up like against my little area here. Um, and I'm going to craft and answer these questions while I do it. So hopefully you guys will enjoy it. It'll also help me to keep talking while I'm creating because you guys know how it is. <clears throat> I do go mute sometimes when I'm doing things because I'm so into what I am doing. So yay, you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Who do we have in the room? Hello, hello, Janet. How you doing? Beautiful. Hello, Sasso. Thank you for being here. My friend Isabel is here as well. And so far, that's how we start in the day. Yay. Thank you guys so much for being here. <laughs> and yes, I did. I did tag you. Um, so how's the audio? How's the quality, you guys? Can you give me uh, up or down? Let me know how it's going. Si, estoy muy tarde. Because I was adding everybody's link down below. So. We're gonna be working on this little birdcage right here. Now I went ahead and did some gessoing on it. This is a birdcage that I received from my beautiful friend Isabel, and it's a wooden um, birdcage. And I went ahead and I gessoed it. And basically, we're gonna do a little bit of mixed media on this, and we're gonna start getting into everything. Yeah, everything is fabulous. Yay! Thank you, thank you. All right, you guys. So. Like I was saying, I was tagged by Dorinda, who is Creative Moments with Dorinda. I left a link to her channel down below, you guys. And um, basically, she answered these sets of 10 questions, and then she also nominated some people. So go and check that out if you want to find out more about your local YouTube crafter. <laughs> so basically, this is my turn to do it, and we're going to go ahead and answer these questions and get some stuff going. So like I said, I just wrote this already. I did go ahead and pull out a Dollar Tree stencil because since I don't have a lot of area here to like do like big stenciling, I didn't want to have like chunks of just like, you know, stuff there. So I went for a stencil that had like, you know, finer details, smaller little spaces so I could have more texture on it. If I can't see the image, I might as well feel around and see what I can feel, right? <laughs> so basically, it's just a pollito. <laughs> you trying to go to uh, Kennedy? Chicken. So what is my name? My name is Carmen, you guys. That is mi nombre. And yes, I speak both English and Spanish, even though that's not one of the questions, but we're going to keep it moving. So I also got some flowers. I got some different flowers here again, gifted to me by my friend Isabel. And then I got some of my own here as well. So we got a few little things. We got some little balls here, <laughs> little bags of balls. <laughs> I should have said that. Um, we also have two little chipboards that I'm going to be using in here. I got some metal flowers out just in case I need to, you know, add a little things here and there. And I also got some metal pieces and um, this little piece right here and some faces. So we're going to do a little bit of mixed media on this, like I said before. And that's how we're going to start this show. It's been a while, so I'm excited to get back into it. I'm a little bit nervous to see how this is all going to come out between me answering these questions um, and actually crafting. So let's see. So the first thing that I need is actually something to put under this so that I don't mess up my whole entire desk because this little plastic is just not going to cut it. So what do I have? Let's see if I can get some paper here. Oh, okay, I got a book cover that will at least help to lift it off of my desk, so that'll help. I always have these junk things around. This is from a dictionary that I just purchased not so long ago. It's humongous. You guys have seen it, I think. 
So basically, okay. So the next question is how I came up with my channel name. Well, my channel name, as you guys know, is Elemental Designs. And basically, I wanted a name that was kind of like all inclusive. So it kind of like didn't set me in any kind of, you know, space when it came to crafting or art or any of that in general. I wanted to be open and free and kind of fluent that way. Like I can do whatever I want to do, <laughs> you know, if I would have put myself like in scrapbooking, then that would have been, I guess, what would have been expected. So I kind of want the unexpected to be expected when it comes to what I do here on my channel. <laughs> Her name is Carmen. <laughs> yes, it is. That's all. It's Carmen or <laughs> <a> strong R. <laughs> um, so let's see. So we're going to go ahead and lay this stencil out. And again, since the area is so small, which is basically what I wanted, I am able to add more texture onto these areas. And this is a Dollar Tree stencil, you guys. And I think this is probably from a dollar store or like a discount store, if I'm not mistaken. Well, Isabel knows. No chime, no chime, nunca, nunca, nunca. Um, so basically, we're going to go ahead and get our paste. And I have here, this is my, I have here my own that I made. Let me just find it. And I keep wanting to flip that paper over. Let's see, let's see, what is it? Do you know what you mean? Do you know what you mean? Where is this? Where is this? Here I am pulling out a whole bunch of stuff. One dollar zone. <laughs> yes. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, where did I put it? For real, for real, I don't find it. And I just literally made that like two seconds ago. Let me see. Oh, it's right here. It is that one. <laughs> All right. So, let me put this back, put this back, and put this back. Okay. So, let's see. So, that's it for my, my channel name. My favorite craft is basically what I'm doing right now. This is what I love to do. I love to do anything and everything, mixed media, mixing different things, basically experimenting. It's more scientific for me, I think, in that way. I love to experiment with different stuff and see the effects of different things when you put them together. So that's basically what draws me in or has always drawn me in. Okay, question number four is my favorite place to buy craft supplies. If it's a physical store, I would say Hobby Lobby. If it's an online store, um, I'll probably go to Joanne's. The cheapest. <laughs> that's says the cheapest. <laughs> yes, and four, um, I would say that, yeah. So if it's a physical store, I would say Hobby Lobby. And if it's like an online shop, I would most likely go to Joanne's um, before I go to like uh, Michael's or something like that or any other one. I will always check there first. Um, sometimes I get better deals. And that's basically why I do it, between the coupons and stuff like that. So, yeah. OK, so let's see. My five top crafters. So when it comes to my five top crafters, hmm, that's a tough one. I watch so many people. I watch a lot of people. but. I'm inspired by different people for different things. So basically when it comes to like lab books and books and stuff like that, Bohemian Crafting or Bohemian Crafting, I think is her actual channel name. Um, she inspired me when it comes to that. When it comes to like mixed media, before I was on YouTube, um, I would say, what's that lady's name? Gabriela Poyaco, I think, if I say that right, I'm not sure. She inspired me a lot when it came to like mixed media. When I first, you know, before like I even actually made the leap to decide to come in here. And let's see who else. Um, obviously, I'm gonna say like watching Sasson's channel 
and not because he's my husband, but because of the evolution of his of his crafting from the beginning to now, from inception till now. That's been amazing to watch. All the different levels that he's gone through. So that's been super, super cool. Let's see. <laughs> hmm. Okay. We said five, right? How many did I mention so far? <laughs> You're welcome, you're welcome. Let's see. So for different things. So when it comes to paper crafting, I'm gonna definitely have to say my girl, mom to create. When it comes to paper crafting, this girl, <laughs> the things that she can do with paper amaze me all the time. Like, honestly, all different types of projects. And if you, if you know her channel, <clears throat> then you already know, you already know. Amazing, amazing work. And when it comes to working with things with like fabrics and stuff like that, I'm going to say crafting with Isabella Lodi. Because if you guys have seen her like um, altered bottles and clipboards and stuff like that, she uses a lot of trims, a lot of lace, a lot of fabrics. Always beautiful. And I actually have one of her boxes, so I got to see it up close and personal. Amazing work. I took eye on detail in the whole nine. So basically, those are my five when it comes to that, when it comes to my five top crafters. And let's see, my favorite color is green. That's question number six. And we're almost done with this and I'm not even nowhere near done with this. So let me stop scraping this and lift this up and let's see what we get. Ooh, yumminess, yes. Yummy, yumminess right here so let's see let's see let's see let's move this on up just like the jeffersons okay so my favorite color screen which was question number six uh my favorite craft tool i will have to say my brushes and that's question number seven by the way that's my favorite tool <clears throat> to use as a brush. Love brushes. That is like my favorito right there. If I could walk around and just write with a brush, I'd be able to do. Which nowadays you almost can't because we got like markers and stuff like that. Anywho. <laughs> So that was question number seven, my favorite craft tool. Question number eight is, where did my love for crafting come from? Ooh. I'm gonna have to say my mom, because she was a crafter in her own right. She made curtains and did all kind of decorative things and actually sold them. And she actually had her own little thing going on when it came to uh, like home decor, like DIY home decor. So. I'm gonna have to say my mom. That's probably where I get my like, you know, ingenuity from as well when it comes to building different things. Um, let me see. When did I first okay? Question number nine is when did I first start crafting? Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know if I can remember that far. I think I've always been crafting somehow, some way. From like altering my school notebooks. Pencils, pouches, book bags, clothes, <laughs> walls. <laughs> like, yeah. I think I've always been a crafter. And I think that since I was little, I was like that. I was just inclined to either draw or paint or glue or something. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's see. <clears throat> So the last question is, my favorite craft at the moment? Ooh. See, I'm kind of like in a stump when it comes to that right now, which is kind of, which is the reason why I've been kind of dud out a little bit when it comes to like this whole YouTube thing and the videos and the crafting and everything. I haven't really been too inspired to work on any specific type of thing. So... Now, recently, I'm starting to get back into the love for art journaling, so I'm starting to do more art journaling, and I'll be sharing a video of a video that was supposed to go up, but unfortunately got messed up, 
so I couldn't share you with you guys the process, but I am going to do a video share for that page. I did share it on my Instagram and I also shared it on my stories here. And that stories on, you know, community tab here on, on YouTube. We're not there at the stories yet, you guys. <laughs> building moments, building moments. So basically, my favorite craft right now, I'm going to say, is to do art journaling because that's what I'm starting to get myself back into the groove of doing again and actually enjoying. So that's it for my 10 crafty questions, you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my answers and they weren't too like, you know, the. <laughs> so basically I'm supposed to be tagging some people. I'm not really quite sure how many people I'm supposed to be tagging, but I'm going to go ahead and tag four. And I did go ahead and link their channels down below. <clears throat> so the four people that I nominate are Sasson's Vintage World, mom to create Crafting with Isabel Lavori, and Bootsy Sweet Tarts. So I look forward to seeing you guys' videos and getting to know a little bit more about you. I hope that you guys have enjoyed getting to know a little bit more about me that might, some of you might not have already known. So yeah, you guys, let's continue this mission and um, finish, finish doing all this so that I can go ahead and dry it and start spraying it and doing all that fun stuff, doing some stuff in here and everything. I'm gonna go totally ham on this. But I gotta get through this part first. And hopefully I'll be able to finish the whole thing because I don't want to keep you guys up here forever. But if not, I will be recording it if I don't finish it and sharing it with you guys at a later time. I think this is good for this. There's a lot of texture going on in here. And hopefully you guys can see that. And I hope that you guys are ready. I told you guys it was coming. <laughs> so don't be shocked. Don't be shocked. <laughs> And thank you so much, Dorinda, for uh, choosing me, for choosing me to be one of the people, nominating me to be one of the people. This was really cool, and I cannot wait <laughs> to pass on the torch to the four that I have nominated. Yay! <laughs> and you guys, if you haven't checked it out, go definitely go check out Dorinda. Show her some love and some support. She also is um, one of the people that make beautiful, beautiful albums. And she does all different kinds of things with textures and fabrics and things like that. So she's also another source of inspiration when it comes to, you know, making albums, junk journals, mini albums, you know, uh, even lab books and everything like that. So definitely go and check her out as well. And I did leave her link down below. So Let's dry this, but I want to clean this up just a little bit. Every time I go pick up the thing, I keep seeing like a little bit more of a something that's obstructing the shape. And I don't want the shape to be obstructed too much. And now we can maybe, yeah, let's get that out of there. Let's, let's pull it back. <clears throat> let's get that out. She's so gonna be a chunky monkey all over the place. They're all in the wrong places. So basically, I'm just running this all along the edges just to kind of clear it up a little bit. So it's not too, look how much material was in there. That's a lot. Then you have all these things that want to crack off and you wonder why. It's too much overhang. Too much junk in the trunk. Let's see. All right. And let's go ahead and get this heat tool going. And let's dry this baby up. Los pollitos. I saw me los pollitos. Hmm. 
And don't do what I do. Don't put your hands around the rack. That will literally bring your finger right off. I felt, trust me, I felt it in it. <laughs> Thank you, Janet. <laughs> This dries pretty quick. This is a, my own DIY paste, basically. And it does dry by the paper. So some areas are very chunky. I'm gonna be making a mess and a half on this dress in about a minute. I know it. And I'm so dry in it. <laughs> Cause I have to clean it up after. <laughs> All right, guys, your meal, please, no. I know everything for the sake for all right. But, uh, 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 that's gonna be messy. Let's now. This is good to go. Good to go. Okay, so let me see how I do this. So I'll end up messing up the whole entire thing. All right, so let me turn on my glue gun because we're gonna be gluing some things down. We're gonna be going some butterflies. I'm not butterflies, flowers. I didn't get no butterflies out. Although I did want to get one out, so maybe I will. This keeps coming up for a reason. So let me see how that's my phone, you guys. Let me turn that on. I got some glue sticks here. And we have some things. These are some molds. They're not the greatest of molds, which is why this is kind of it kind of works for this they don't have to be like perfect because they're going to go into a mixed media piece um so these are some molds that i have made and i have some flowers and stuff like i already showed you guys um but we're going to be gluing some of these faces in here and we're going to be gluing some of these things onto here as well before we start going to the next which is going to be to color and to just you know finish it up so we're going to do a little bit of this We have that. Those little balls are gonna be for later. We have some phases, and the flowers are gonna be added as we need them where we need them. Now, I was kind of thinking to like fill the bird in with flowers, but I'm not sure how I'm gonna go about that yet. So we're gonna see where that's gonna kind of go. But so far, my mind is here. think I think not sure <laughs> something like this so you see how like they have blemishes they have like pieces missing that's fine with me I don't mind that one bit and one here and one here right there all these faces looking at you um then we have some metal pieces and I actually did do a little bit of thinking and planning with this one while I was getting myself together to go live today to figure out like what I wanted, where I wanted it. I didn't do too much with the flowers themselves, but I kind of want to fill the bird in with flowers. And I have three different sizes, at least three or four different sizes. So we're going to be doing that. And then we're going to be adding another layer of gesso. We're going to be drying it. I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. I've been like thinking about it all day. Like, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? I was super excited to do this today, to be honest with you guys, because it's been a while. And that's what I miss, I guess, getting excited. Um getting excited all the way about what it is that I'm making. Um, I guess you can become repetitive at times, somehow, some way, either it's the color pattern or whatever it is. Um, but it just becomes kind of repetitive, and then you just kind of get yourself into a funk. And that's kind of what happened to me. Um, and it's like, no matter what I watched, I was just now becoming inspired. And I don't know. I, I don't know. Now I'm starting to art journal. So I'm starting to like start my love again for like color and, you know, my hands getting dirty and all of that stuff. So, and I had this here and I'm like, oh my God. That needs color. <laughs> 
Hello, hello, Lulu. I'm like, Danny's color. Like, I, I need to do something with that. So, yes. Totally inspired. Totally inspired. So, we're going to go ahead and do that. I'm trimming some of these because I know for a fact I'm going to be using them. Um, I don't know exactly where, but I want to have enough so I don't have to be flipping later. And I'm letting the glue gun kind of heat up. And then you are. Okay, some little ones, because I know we're going to need some little ones here. So let's just clip these, let's clip these bad boys out. This got to be an easier way, you guys. <laughs> Why don't they just sell it to us in a bag? We don't need the stems half the time. We always clip them off. They should ask, do you need the stems or no stem? So I could be like, no stem, please. Keep your stem. And just send me a flower. That should be good enough. Okay. So we got that. And then we have these. That we'll see where we fit them. And the color doesn't matter to me because I'm just doing over everything. Um, so I'm not look, I'm not caring about the color right now. And then I'm probably going to add some watercolor. I've been doing some watercolor playing. Oh, yes, you guys. I love me some playing some watercolors. Oh, my goodness. So I've been playing with some watercolors. And I'm going to be doing some watercolors on this for sure. So we're going to do that. So hopefully this thing is caliente and we can move forward. So this is so far what I'm thinking. I kind of like it. So I'm going to go with it. I'm just going to put those faces in there. Again, the fact that they're dinged up to me is actually appealing. So I, I actually like them to look kind of rustic up like that. Unless I'm using it on, you know, a different kind of piece that I need that perfection. But for these, I kind of like it to be like that. They remind me of real stone, you know, faces and stuff. That you can think of this one. It's hard to pick up. What was it? Oops, I almost put it in the wrong spot. So here. See, this is why I kind of prelate it before I forgot. No more tijeras, Johnny. What happened? <clears throat> what the hair has done? Okay, I lost something. These are all done. Oh, you're talking about my tijeras are done because I cut the wire with it? <laughs> I cut everything with everything. That's the problem that I have. Everything is for everything. The minute that it crosses this line, it's it. It's everything for itself because, like, I'm going to use it if I can use it in something. If you're just sitting there doing that and I'm going to use the clack clack. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I do. Let's see, right here, I think in the center. That's why I have to keep stuff separate. Like if I don't want to use it, I got to keep it like really far from me so that I have to get up to get it. And most likely I'll pick whatever's in front of me. <laughs> so let's see. Let's go ahead and glue this feather down. This is not even a feather, I think it's like a leaf or something. It is like a turkey, like the back of a turkey. But we're going to do that. I'm going to position that like that. And I'm going to grab this leaf right here because that's what this is. And I hope these things stay because sometimes they don't stay. Let's get it away. And we're going to anchor that right in there. I could deal with pain, but I, ha I hate feeling webbing. Why is that? Is that because of our fear of spiders? Like we can't feel like little things like... We get all jittery. Oh, you guys are on the coffee talk already. Okay, 
right, so let's go right here. I'm gonna stick that right there. We're gonna stick this one right here in between both of those. Hopefully it'll stay. Let me bring that up. There. Put that right there. Um, so far, so good. How does wedding? Okay, so we got that so far. Now let's see what we do with some flowers. Let's go right there. Working with nails is a pain in the cut. Touch you guys. What? Oh my goodness. It is a pain. It is a pain. Sorry if I'm not looking up at your comments. You guys have a question for me. Put it in cups until someone will let me know. Yes, they are. They're very nice and very versatile. I think I'm going to put one of them in there. I'm going to scroll. Unless I can not see it. You guys, if you see me spinning my arms around, I'm not practicing karate, okay? <laughs> I'm trying to spindle up the <laughs> all the glue. <laughs> okay, so let's see. So we got that. I am gonna need more of those little ones. This is easy. Oh, yo, man. Okay. Just want to keep stuffing this stuffing this bird with these flowers. You cutting my flowers. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? I am comfortable fighting the blue strings. You're not lying, though. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's see. Why didn't they make this paper, too? They made the flower paper. Why didn't they make that paper, too? I could have used that if it was paper. I can't use it if it's silk. I don't like it. <laughs> Let's see. They're good for one thing, though. They're good for getting into those hard to reach places and not bringing the tip to your finger. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Let's keep adding, let's keep adding. Hold up, hold up. Oh, I'm pricking my finger. Let's get this one there. Let's Put that one in there.
hơn So blue no me too, but that makes me a little bit what? <laughs> what happened? You guys didn't like what I said? <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, jam it in there. So hang on, jam it in there. <laughs> I'm jamming this thing in here. <laughs> Put some gym hangers in the bottom. Okay, let me see what I find. But I can do that after. That way I don't mess up the trim. I know this is not going to matter much. But this guy's kind of lost. Can you help him out? That's too much. I'm so used to filling in the spaces, you guys. It's so hard for me to like be like, oh, there's an empty space there. Leave it there. Like, what? Does not compute. <laughs> you got to put something there. You got to fill in every little space. That's what my mind always tells me. You got to fill in every little space. So I'm trying to open up this so that I don't feel like there's something that I have to add. Because otherwise, that's exactly how I feel. Like there's something that I have to add. Let me just do it for OCD purposes. And let's just leave it like that. <laughs> right? Good to go. Good to go. Okay. So we have some bigger flowers here. Okay. These are gorgeous. This is like gorgeous, gorgeous flowers that my friend Isabel gave to me. Absolutely stunning. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. I know some of you guys are like, what are you doing? Put the petals in there. No. <laughs> no, I'm going to cut these up. I'm going to add these in, but in different places. Um, let's see. Nope, I don't want it on the tail. Where's where I actually want it? I don't want it. Like a little cluster here. Let's see. It flew. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Let's see. Just 
One more, one more. Don't break my flower, man. Leave my flower alone. Yeah, I kind of like it. Let me see what kind of chair I'm going to use so that I figure out how the rest of this is going to all look. Give me a second. What do you guys think? What the heck is a guindalejos? Like, <laughs> what is that? You guys gotta talk to me in English or Spanglish or something. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Do you know what it is? <laughs> no, I know something is hanging. <laughs> and I know the one is far away, but I don't know why. <laughs> Okay, I want to spend 15 hours on that, but I think I did it too well. Oh, well, it's gonna go right there. I'll trim the hangs. Then, but why they call it lejos when the trim just hang right there? <laughs> okay. I don't know. I never went Spanish curtain shopping. <laughs> Let's see. I might have some of that, I think. I know what you mean. There's those things with the tassels at the end, right? Hello, hello, Jones. How are you, love?
We're just basically here working on a wooden uh, bird cage. <laughs> gigantic, gigantic uh, bird cage. And we've done some stenciling on it so far. And now we're adding some trims. We've added some flowers to our birds. I don't know if he's going to a wedding or a funeral yet, but we're going to figure that out along the way. What are we going to see? Okay, let's try to fan that out a little bit so it's not so like, stuck there. Okay, so one, two, three. Okay, here. Let's do the same thing on both sides. And then I'm going to see if I have some of that hanging trim. <laughs> yes, I'm Dominican, so <laughs> I'm totally lost in translation there. I was like, what the heck is that? So close and yet so far. <laughs> okay, so let me see. Did I make this too long? Yeah, I did. By the way. Let me just put that a little bit there. No, stay, stay, stay. Stay, my friend. Stay for a while. Stay. Let's see. I'm just going to get that in there somehow. It's all going to be covered by the flower, so I ain't going to really worry about it too, too, too much. But I do want it to hold itself together. Let's see. So let's see. All right, so let's get the other purple flower and put it right over that. Like my nails are freshly done and full of glue. Ah, all that work. <laughs> let's see. Let me just make sure these flowers is going down right. I don't need them things falling off later. This is pretty good. All right. So this is what we're looking like so far. Let's see. All right. So. Let's keep adding. Oh, let me go see if I find that trim. No promises, but I'm going to check and see what I find. Let me see. Some water tassel. Oh, God, I have more trims here. Some water tassel. Not in this room. I found this, which is not necessarily the same, I don't think. <laughs> and I don't know if I would like how this would look, honestly. Yeah, I don't think that's going to look good. So we're going to keep moving with what we're doing. All right, so let me see. How is it if I just leave those little bits on the side? Or should I add a little bit here in the center? What do you guys think? With just the little bits on the side. Or should I go ahead and add the whole thing in the center? I think I'm good with it like this. I don't have nothing hanging here. Nope, nope, nope. 
All right, so the next part of this little thing is to add these words. And it's gonna say forever. If I can get it in there. <laughs> Let's see. I might have to. There it goes. Nope, doesn't go there. It's too high up. Where can we put it? Right there. Forever. And then the word lovely. So if I'm gonna do that. Then I might as well put this somewhere here, I guess. Forever lovely, or something like that, right? That's more or less what it's going to say. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Congrats to you. All right, so we're going to go ahead, I think, and glue this in, and then dab it up a little bit with some gesso, just so we can get all the colors, all the covers, you know. All the areas covered. That's the word. Let me clear up some of this mess. I'm gonna leave these little balls in because I'm gonna add them in now. Okay, little flowers. Should I start with me now? So I got some little balls here that I'm going to be mixing in with some of that paste. And I'm just going to be adding it here and there as well. Let me shut that off. And basically, this is my own little DIY paste. Super, super simple to do. It's just baby powder and glue. And I'm going to grab some of these. Here's a little bag. I'm going to use this. Basically, I'm just gonna mix that in there. Don't go nowhere, little balls. We need you there. Okay. And basically, I'm just going to add this in there. In there in different places. And basically, we're just creating more texture. And I haven't glued my lovelies yet, which I have to do. Oh, I haven't glued these either. Hold on, glue gun. I turned you off too early. Come back. <laughs> Come back. Now I know why I had you there. All kinds of stuff is falling on my project. Maybe what is it? Maybe about a little more place. Yeah. That's what I use. That's what I've been using for eons is baby powder and glue. Is everything else here glued in? Nope, nope, nope. Let's add a little bit in there. Let's add them in different places. Come on, little ball, stay in place. Right there. Jesus. Stay where I need you to stay. There we go. Stay there. I'm going to get a little bit more so we can add a little bit more into the flowers. Just going to grab a little bit more of this paste.
spread that out a little bit. Add them right in there. Come on, come on, come on. Get in there, get in there, get in there, get in there. All right, so here we go. Let's do more of this. Mix those up, just making sure that they all get coated with the paste so that they at least stick, you know, wherever I put them. We're just gonna put some in there. We don't need so much of the paste to be behind as we just basically need the little little granules there. The paste will basically just kind of hold them in place. And I'm also gonna just over everything. Give it a quick hand of just so. Let's see. I don't know where else to add any more of this stuff to be honest. So I'm just gonna use up this last little bit right here and then we're gonna move on to the next to the next page. He's a fat little bird. Call he's got on. Okay. So let's dry this real quick. Let me just clear this down before I forget to do it yet again. Okay, let's do our words before I forget to do that yet again. <laughs> okay, so forever, no, forever's gonna go over here somewhere, right? Over here. Come on, glue hairs, glue hairs. Come on, man. Stop. Stop it with the glue hairs. Let's see, right there. On the O and the E. Let's put that right in there. Forever lovely. Yes, we are. So springy. All right, now we're gonna dry. I think everything is in the place. Now we're gonna dry, you guys. I'm sorry if you guys asked me anything I didn't see. Okay. Is this crooked in my forever? Oh, well. If it is, it is. Let me blow off some of that blue here. And then let's dry this baby up. Drop the ball. Nice <laughs> and I still have to adjust to it. So once I do that, then the rest of it will be easy because I'm just going to be adding a little bit of color here and there. I don't want to go too, too overwhelming with the color. I'm trying to minimize my palette. <laughs> yes. Trying to minimize it, you guys. Trying to go from using 15 or the whole entire like rainbow scope um, to, you know, choosing three colors, two colors, and working even maybe with one color. So I'm going to be working on that. That's my own personal challenge so that I can get better at my art. I could have covered up more of the birdcage, but I actually want, I love birdcages actually, that's number one. Um, and I wanted to be able to see the birdcage. So if I felt like if I covered it up too much, I was gonna see some bars, okay, but I wasn't gonna be able to feel the birdcage for what the birdcage was, which is forever lovely. <laughs> At least now it is. <laughs> thank you, thank you. 
<laughs> oh yeah, all day, all day. Got a karate chop it all day, all day. So basically, that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. And now we're gonna apply some gesso, you guys. Yes, we shall apply the gesso. Again, another DIY that I do because it's cost effective, you guys. Cost effective. And so basically, I make my own paste, and this all you have to do is add water. <laughs> this has a little bit of paint, so it's got a little bit of white paint. Um, baby powder glue, same thing, and then just a little bit of water, depending on how thick you like it or how loose you like it. You could basically work that part of it out yourself. Um, and you just basically work with it until you get it to the right consistency. I like mine's like a medium thick. Um, I like to know that it's there and if possible, I would love to be able to minimize having to apply multiple coats. So I go for a thicker one, almost like a paste consistency, but not quite a paste consistency. Especially since I like to do things like a metal and stuff like that. I need that just so to be put. Like, don't go nowhere. And I use a lot of glue on mine. These little balls stay there. If it don't stick here, it'll stick somewhere. But it'll stick. I'm not worried about that. The point is for them to be kind of like everywhere. Since we are going to be adding like water and color and stuff. Whoa, my brush flew off my hands. Um, I need to be sure that my area is fully protected so that my papers don't fall apart. So I'm going to try to get in to these grooves as best as I can with my paste, my gesso paste. That's basically what it is. And I'm going to get all up in there, all in the grooves and stuff. So when I put my watercolors in, it'd be like magic. How, that? How you like me now? Right there. So we're just gonna go through all these little layers of petals. Cause again, when these things get stiff, I mean, they're stiff as they are, but they're gonna get a little loose now when I start spraying them down. But when they stiffen back up again, um, I need to be sure that everything is everything. Okay. Stay down, stay down. So hopefully you guys are enjoying the show. For those of you that are coming in a little later, I did, um, I was tagged by Dorinda, who's crafting creative moments with Dorinda. And um, she tagged me for the 10 crafty questions and she also tagged some other awesome crafters as well. Um, please go make sure to go and check that out and show her some love and some support. I have also nominated for today. And uh, yeah. I got to do some crafting and answering questions. I basically interviewed myself. <laughs> ah, that LY worries me. That LY worries me, you guys. The L Y and the word lovely worries me. I think I'm gonna have to move it, but I don't know where to put it. Because if I move it from there, it's just gonna be like that on one side. And it's gonna leave this side blank, which means I have to add something here because I need it to balance. If it don't balance in my mind, I'm gonna be forever chasing that empty spot. And I can't do that. See, this one sat well, like when I put it down. It anchored itself really nicely. This one is not as well anchored. So I might have to get myself like a little stick or something and just kind of hug like a little stick across there somewhere just to support it, give it that extra support. 
We're almost there, you guys. I'm almost done with the chest one. I'm picking up some of these little balls and distributing them in other places. Not because I want to, but because they're tagging along for the ride. Okay, I think that's about as much gesso as I'm going to put on this. This is already basically gesso, so I'm not going to do nothing with that. Um, here we go. Now I get to heat this up and read what you guys wrote. Ah. Huh? I oh, you found me some peanuts. I got M and M's, you guys. That's so good. What happened? I don't know what to do with yours. I'm so sorry. I popped out a weird one. I'm gonna still eat it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just hope they came from the same place. <laughs> I really like how this is looking. Kind of simple, simple. You hear me? I need another one so that I can speed up my time to get on lazy. Simple, but at the same time, I feel like it's got a lot going on. Because it's got the stenciling, it's got the faces. You don't know what the hell they're doing there and why. Um, I don't know. It just kind of has like a creepy kind of vibe to it because of the faces. I love adding stuff like that to my work. Like faces and moons and stars and stuff like that. I love that. I just want to make sure this is really dry, you guys. Because I'm going to be adding, like I said, watercolor in here. And I don't want these babies to start falling off. I could tell off the bag that I didn't just throw everything. <laughs> but I'll get that later. If I need to. Not a little bit like that. As a reminder of where you came from. All right. Let's be like that. And I need another one for encouragement. I love my candy, you guys. It's so bad. I love me some candy. Okay. So, let's see. Especially chocolate and peanuts. Yum, yum. Look at this, this brush. This is like my dirty little paint rag that I keep like this and I wash it every now and then, but I don't wash it often. I ain't gonna lie. That's why it's so dirty. <laughs> but it's only for paint. We don't like clean our faces or nothing like this, so no worries. So I'm going to put that there like that so that I can go ahead and add my watercolor. Oh. <laughs> okay, hold on. I needed to make the hole a little bit bigger. You want one? It smells like baby powder because it's baby powder in the thing. Okay, so. I'm going to get my jeans. This is the one that's all full. Okay. And I'm having, when it comes to watercolor, I am loving two colors in particular, three colors at most. So 
basically it's this one is like a navy blue it's like a dark deep deep blue right like a dark blue there's a purple one that's right here that i love too and then one of these red ones over here i don't know which one it is but we're gonna figure it out so basically that's what we're gonna go with i think that's gonna be the color scheme because those colors are just like thin, thin, thin. i already kind of know how they work together and it's a little bit darker but i kind of like it dark so we're in halloween anyway so i don't want to go shabby with it even though it, it lends itself for shabby i gotta do something that's a little bit you know different so we're gonna do that i'm gonna wet my brush and i'm gonna start with the darkest which is the blue and i'm gonna need to have hold this up i have a gallon of water here you guys and i'm just gonna pop, 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 add some water in there and i'm just gonna start to add water, um some of the colors in here and we'll see how it all kind of comes together i don't know we're just gonna add it in different places we're just gonna have fun with it and just not be too hypercritical of where we put it like it's okay it's only mixed media. You can put it anywhere you want to put it. Okay. So that's that for that one. Let me go ahead and add some water in here to allow it to kind of flow. So as I start adding some of the other colors, they'll kind of start bleeding into each other. As you can see, some of the colors are already kind of running. Um, and it's like trying to fill in the whole space. So basically, we're going to start feeding some of the other colors right in there. And we're just basically gonna add them in. Again, this purple. I'm just gonna add some of that color right there. We're just gonna feed it in there. Wherever you notice that you put some of that water. Put some of our face too, because why not? It's about having fun. We're gonna add some water. Just gonna add some fun, add some water everywhere. It's just loads and loads of water. It's a good thing this thing is made of wood. And that's why I always like to make sure that my gesso is good because I am very heavy with the fluids when it comes to working on papers and materials and stuff like that. I add a lot. Um, so for this one. this one I think it's this one it's like a magenta I'm gonna add that in there as well yes me likey what do you guys think what do you guys think oh it's very very fun and relaxing Lulu and if you Basically, just kind of do it how I'm doing it. It's not as threatening as it is when you're trying to actually, like, you know, create lands and seas and birds and this and that. That becomes a little bit more harder. Um, but just for, like, the pure sake of just adding color here and there, it's awesome. Love it. Love it, love it. I love how it flows into each other. And then you can just add water here and there. Let's add some more of this blue. Um, let's see. Some pink in here. I like that. Just set it.
Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> All right, so always you gotta always have some kind of a black or a white. I don't want much white, so I'm gonna go with black since I already kind of have white in here. So I'm gonna choose a little bit of black. And I'm gonna make myself a whole bunch here because I need to be able to feed from it so that I can drop it wherever I want. And now we're gonna add some water in some places. And we're gonna feed them some of that black. We're just gonna feed it in there. I want it a little darker, so I'm gonna take it straight from the little thing and just kind of put it in there. I need more water in here. There we go. There we go. There we go. Why does it be a little bit darker? Oh, I like it. I'm just going to let that sit there for a while. And I'm going to go into some of these lighter areas and add some black. And just see where that kind of takes me. And I just dab it, you guys. Just dab it in. You don't have to go too technical. You just dab it in. It almost makes you feel like Picasso when you're not really doing nothing Picasso right now. <laughs> and I know you guys can probably see much because I have it behind a blue thing. I don't know how, let me see. Let me see if it's just my, my laptop likes to degrade the quality of my video for some reason. That's not what I hit. One second. Oh, come on, close out of there. Took me somewhere else. Okay. <laughs> Let me leave it alone. <laughs> that's basically what that's telling me. It's like, girl, tranquila. <laughs> no jodas, no jodas. All right, so I'm going to add some black into these flowers. And I'm just going to kind of go in there and just work off a little bit on this bird. Just add some water here and there so it could feed a little bit better. And then let's go back to our blue. Just kind of starting right in. I have to wet the heck out of these flowers so that they can take the color. There we go. That's better. Black. Okay. 
kind of like how this is looking a little bit, but I need a little bit more progress. So I need to pull out something. I need help. I need help. So let's see how we advance a little bit of spray. Okay, a little bit of that. A little bit of this. Pam, 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 pam. Let's dry it up. Let's see what else we need to add. You just gotta let loose, Lulu. Literally, don't judge yourself. As hard as that is to say, because you do it anyway. But remember, it's supposed to look like that. It's supposed to look like that. However, your arm comes out, it's supposed to look like that. It's all stages. Just like these MLMs. <laughs> I might add more, a little bit more color. Huh? Are you finished? It still looks a little shabby-ish. <laughs> this is the pink. It still looks kind of shabby-ish. Let's see what other colors we got in here. I don't want green. I want to work with the same color that I was using. So let me see if I find some dark blue. This is like a purple almost. It's like a berry color. It's not really like a purple, but I don't know if it'll work. Oh, oh, easy, easy time. Está bien, está bien. Not too much, not too much, just a little bit. Lulu, on my channel, I have what I call our journaling basics, one, two, three. When I do all different kinds of stuff, like in a simple way, there's I discuss different types of doing, like different ways of mixed media. So like, maybe there's a different one that you might like, you never know. But if you're interested in really learning, you know, starting to get into it, give it a check out. You might like it. Girl, in my head, all I see is like, you know when you cook the spaghetti <laughs> and then you take it out the pot and you put it in a bowl and it's all jumbled up? Yeah, that's me. It's just somehow, once I start putting something down, all those spaghetti line up. <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense. <laughs> Maybe that's not the best analogy, <laughs> but you know what I'm trying to say. Let me see. Let me see. I mean, like a dark. What is this? This is like a gold. Oh. This is like a gold or a brown. I can't tell. I gotta get better label in my bottle. Oh, I got some blue. I didn't really add any blue on here like that. Well, I mean, I did, but this is just gonna change it up just a little bit.
Well, where's this? This one. Never go work. That's why I don't even use those things. Anymore. Just black. Let's go with a little bit of black. And I have a spray bottle somewhere. The question is where? I don't know. Let's see. I'll find a spray that works though. Okay, let me just use the same one that I already used that was working. Let's see. I kind of like it like that. I need a little bit more black though. Whoa. Carmen, don't you dare break the L Y. Don't you dare break the L Y, Carmen. Hmm. Oh, I like it. I like that. Let us Let us go. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. This LY, you guys, this LY. Uh oh. I hate all my fans. Oh, let's just wish. <laughs> It's always scary when the phone rings. It's like, who is it? What do you want? <laughs> okay, let's see. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know? <laughs> This is about done, you guys. I'm just kind of like dinner dining at this point. <laughs> this is good to be done. Once it dries up. I kind of like it. What do you guys think? No matter what I say, I still use the million and one colors, right? I went against everything I said. <laughs> I don't even know why I set myself up for those traps. I do that to myself every single time. Every single time I do it to myself. I'm like, nah, because I'm only going to use this. I'm only going to use that. And before you know, like, I get the whole kitchen sink, the pipes, everything, like, glued in there. <laughs> <laughs> but I like it. And it's still totally me. Forever lovely. And here, what I might do, since I'm going to be hanging this, um, I didn't really want to add too much stuff here because I got these two openings right here. Well, actually, I have. Well, yeah, I have these two openings because the other ones are sealed off. That I could like literally hang stuff from here so I can attach like a clip on each side or something with a chain and add something else. I can literally have this almost like something that jingles around so I can um like charms or something. So actually, I don't know. That kind of gave me an idea, um, which I'll probably do discuss later on. I'm gonna see what I do. Um, but yeah, that's basically what I want to do. I want to add something there. 
I want to add some chains hanging down from there. Now I got to let this kind of dry all the way thoroughly. I got to fix my LY real quick though. And I'm going to go and get a stick, a toothpick or something so that I can put that in there. Can see how this? I found this, which is a, a clothespin. <laughs> so we're gonna figure it out because they don't call me MacGyver for nothing. So we're gonna see what we do, how we fix this problem with the L Y. <laughs> ah. Pero Julio es el chismoso. No te digo de la mercancía que tenía atrás guardada, ¿eh? No te digo lo que tenía guardado en el freezer. Nada más de lo que había afuera. Why MLMs is so good? I'm learning my heat gun. Heat up. My glue gun. Heat up. I like it though. You guys feel like it's missing like it's missing something? Can you even see it? Let's see. Maybe that's what I'll see about it. I don't know if it's too high up or not. I'm waiting for the light. <laughs> No promo, no promo. <laughs> You're not lying. Wow, there's a lag and a half in this video. That's crazy. I just basically timed it while I was doing this and holding it up. But if you guys can see like the forever. I feel like now it needs white. <laughs> Like, I put so much color in here, then now we're like, it needs some kind of white. But I'm going to fix this out white before I mess it up even further. So, let's see. Let's see this stuff. How far into this? <laughs> like I said, I use everything for everything. But my m and are gone. No! Why? The horror. My m and are done. <laughs> let's see. Okay, it's this way. Right? Mm -hmm, this way. This way to hide. <laughs> All right, you guys, so let's, let's do this. Let's see. Oh, this is enough support. Okay, this one. To make sure that that's how like it's supposed to be. Yeah. It's got bling on one side. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, this is enough. And it's got a little piece sticking out the side because you know we DIY is it, but it's gonna be all right because I'm gonna stick a little something, something right there and hide that. <laughs> Maybe I'll stick like a flower or something on there. 
I just kind of hide that, make it like a shelf in the background. So that's basically what we're rocking with today, you guys. This is what we have created on this live's creation Saturday. That's gonna be the new name for my. <laughs> I'm sorry, I scared anybody when I clapped. <laughs> this is gonna be the new name for my Saturday live streams, you guys. It's gonna be called Live Creations, and basically, it's gonna be every Saturday at 7 p.m. God willing, I shall be here to bring to you guys something new every single Saturday. Hopefully, something new. I will try my bestest because you know, I was just complaining about how sometimes things get repetitive. So I will try my best not to repeat myself. Okay, let me move this out of the way. I got a lot of mess here. Got a lot of stuff to clean, you guys. That's the bad part of mixed media. It's having to clean up after. But the fun part is making the mess in the first place, right? Welcome back. Welcome back. Hello, hello, Nana. Para donde te me fuiste? Did you get the coffee? So this is what we did. And I don't know, like, I feel like it is missing something, but then I'm like, I don't know if it's missing something. Part of me says, yes, it's missing something. I think it's probably bling, because you know how it is. It's always got a sparkle, right? So I don't know. Maybe I'll add some glitter paint. Just, just for, just for giggles. This is called um, gloss enamel glitter. It's actually uh, transparent glass paint. So it's basically to be used on glass, but you guys know I don't follow the rules and I paint on everything with everything. So this is no exception, you guys, no exception. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab some, some of this. And basically just kind of add it in there in different places. This is a very beautiful, and my brush still has some watercolor in it, so it might just transfer some of that watercolor in there, which will not interfere with um, the paint and its ability to shine. I forgot to clean the brush before I dipped it into the bottle. See? Things happen, you guys, but I call those happy accidents. So we're going to glitterify this baby. And we're just going to basically slap this paint on. I don't want to brush up and down because I am working with water reactive. You know, this is watercolor. So if I start sloshing around, I'm basically going to mix all my colors around and just make everything one solid color. So that's not what I want to do. I don't mind the colors kind of contaminating each other, but I don't want them to blend uh, too much. I just want things to be like, yay, super cool. We're just chilling here, mellowing out, shining bright for you, baby. That's it. Let me see, I think I got some splotches of glue in some places. Okay, let me grab some more. And again, just kind of slapping it on there. I'm not brushing it on because I don't want the colors underneath to mix. This has not been sealed yet. So I'm okay with the colors kind of marrying each other a little bit, but I don't want them to develop a whole household out of it. So let's just keep it steady and not go too much in there. So just kind of slouching on all of this beautiful glitter shimmer. Perfect way to clean my brush. Right onto that fabric. And I so desperately need another bottle of this. This is like amazing. And this will totally look different by the time that it all dries.
Hold on, let me try and go over that. So what happens when you don't follow your own rules? So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. This is going to be the last application that I'm going to be doing onto this birdcage. Um, I'm going to be drying this up. Hopefully this has inspired and or motivated you to get some of your crafty items out, especially the ones that you haven't used in quite some time. Look in your kitchens, look in your living rooms, look in your kids' drawers, look in the kitchen drawers. You never know what goodies you will find. And basically get to gluing, get to gessoing, and get to painting, you guys. And have some fun. I'm going to dry this. And this will be done. And I like it. I like it a lot. I really do like it a lot. We have the little birdie who's either being carried off by flowers or carrying flowers. We don't know. We didn't stop to ask. We just know that he looks cute on his way. So we're going to let him be about his way. He's just hanging in there. And preferably you will want this paint to kind of dry on its own, especially this kind of paint. You wouldn't want to speed dry it like that. Um, because sometimes you can get like those little milky areas where they just look like they're dry, but they're not really dry. Or they might be dry, but they just never clear it up. So this is supposed to dry transparent. And it does for the most part. But be careful not to burn the paint as you're trying to dry it quickly. And everything is falling apart. It is time for me to stop doing this before I knock everything down. And yes, you guys, this is going to be the grand finale for today's live creation. We worked on this wooden birdcage, which was gifted to me by Isabel. I answered 10 crafty questions because I was tagged by Dorinda, who's Creative Moments with Dorinda. I have in turn tagged four people who are Sasson's Vintage World, Crafting with Isabel Lavori, Mom to Create, and Bootsy Sweetheart. And I left all of their links down below. Definitely subscribe, show them some love and some YouTube support. We greatly, greatly appreciate it. Thank you all so much for being here with me. If you were here live with me while I was um, creating this, if you are watching after the fact, thank you so much for stopping by my channel and checking it out. Hopefully you like it. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. Don't forget to hit that bell. And if you are so inclined to do so, thumbs up the video. Thank you so much. Let me know what you think down below. I will catch everybody on the next one. Thank you. Thank you so much. And bye.